I've reported on economic crisis, war, political meltdown, but I've never seen it, all three of them wrapped up in a moment like this. We've got the Tory party with absolutely no democratic mandate planning to slash the welfare state, cut public services, attack wages, and for good measure, it's crashed the financial system in the first week of trying to do all this. Now, this autumn, I'm planning to try and get selected as a candidate to stand for Labour in the next election. And I want to tell you why. I've been on the left since I joined the Labour Party in 1980 in Sheffield. And when we lost the last election, I was one of the first people to back Keir Starmer because I knew then that he had the ability to turn things around within one electoral cycle by uniting the different wings of our party around a radical programme on economic change and around the traditional Labour values on foreign policy, justice and defence. And in Liverpool, that's what he did. And I think it's time for us on the left to be part of that project, not some other project that we might have wanted. The way Labour is going to come to power is through Keir Starmer as Prime Minister and on the radical programme of redistribution, borrowing to invest in green technology, industrial strategy, minimum wage and union rights from day one at work, that is the programme we can achieve. So what can we, the left, bring to that project? Well, our organising power. Look at what we're doing with the strike wave, with the don't pay protests, with enough is enough, and with all the grassroots mobilising among communities that's happened over the last two years. The other thing is we, we can bring our knowledge that none of the problems besetting Liz Truss are accidental. The climate crisis, totalitarian dictatorship in Russia, the energy crisis, all of these things are products of a system that is in crisis that needs radical and systemic change. But let's be clear, Keir Starmer has achieved these poll leads by returning Labour to its traditional values on defence, security, justice and foreign policy. And there'll be no going back on that. So we are going to carry on supporting Ukraine, arming Ukraine, being proud of the British soldiers who are training our Ukrainian comrades and being proud of the defence industry workers who are arming them. What we've got to achieve is a kind of bipartisan sea change of the kind that Attlee achieved alongside Nye Bevan in 1945 and that Wilson achieved um, in the mid 60s. So that, so that whatever crawls out of the wreckage of Liz Truss's Tory party cannot take the British people back to this doom scenario of the small state, of the enriched elite, of dreams of deporting refugees to Rwanda being their number one political fantasy. We've got to end that prospect forever. And what I want to do is to create a different left a left that is part of the Starmer project, that understands where it's going, that mucks in with the basic task of winning people over to it, and that in the process transforms itself into a force that can lead beyond the initial things we can achieve in the first uh, years of a Starmer government, and above all, of course, pushes back against the corporate interests that will right now be rushing to donate money and influence policy because they can see which way the wind is blowing. We have the world to win, to be honest. We have a future to create. So let's do it. Let's do it with the radical policies achieved in Liverpool. Let's push them further. Let's not sit in a corner complaining and being part of something else.